971. Good to have you aboard on a Tuesday afternoon. Now, Sully, I did Rieger get a tan? Who, yeah. who are you? It looks my, like you did. My, yes. <laughs> my, my hair, my head is still shaved. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> they, they, it started to look alike towards the end. Uh who the hell are you? My name is Terrence Reginald Foster the <laughs> third. And uh, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank Bye, you. Bye, bitch. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm not, and you know what, Mike? Here's here's a promise. I am not going to call you a bitch my first day back. Thank you. Maybe That's tomorrow. A, it's a heartfelt promise. Well, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, five months in the making, and you jump back into a playoff week for the Lions. How about that? Your timing is Ugh. exquisite. Let the bitch walk! So we all should right, celebrate. That'll be all. And everything. So these are happy times in Detroit, correct? No. No. I didn't think so. I, well, not a whole lot. I, I listen. I, if you want to jump right in, I'll do it. It's very, it's very, very simple. You okay. missed this yesterday. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's a whole lot of value in making the playoffs when you have perception or otherwise no chance to do any damage. So what I talked about with some of the people was the feeling of anger versus disappointment, but then kind of getting to part two, the playoffs. Like I want to know if people are actually celebrating or feel good about making the playoffs. When in essence, you know, going to CenturyLink Field, going to Seattle, you've no chance to win. Which, let me get my first siren. I've been there before. That is an intimidating stadium, even when there's no people in there. That that thing is a monster. Thank you, so you have no shot at winning. Uh, I'm gonna say no, you should not celebrate. Here's, Here's some facts, you know, you want some fuzzy numbers? Here's some fuzzy numbers, you can look it up. Even bad teams, I'm talking about the teams that stink, make the playoffs three out of ten years. The good teams make it seven, eight times out of a of a ten-year span. The Packers made eight in a row. Right. So the fact that you've made the playoffs two out of three years and you've got no shot, so what? But that's, see, this is what I want to ask the people, and I'll, and I'll kick it off. 248-539-9797. You can get your ticket text in, 97136. It's simple. The Lions back their way in. And I know Caldwell says he doesn't know what that means. That's a lie. He knows what it means. They back their way in, and they cost themselves, in my opinion at least, I don't know how you feel about it, T, any real shot of winning a playoff game. Yeah, they back that ass up. That's, That's right. What they did. If they if they were playing here this week, they'd have a shot. And there would be more celebration in this city. And and that's the key, because they would have won the division title. Yeah. I can't celebrate getting into the play because, again, and and – I can't help where I'm from, but making the playoffs doesn't mean anything. Like, okay, the Giants made the playoffs. I don't care. Because unless the Giants go to Green Bay and win, they didn't do anything. They didn't threaten anything. You know what this is like? It's like making a bowl game. Who the hell cares? If you're not in that final yeah, four, you know, so what? I'm going to the uh, the Citrus Bowl. So what? No, it's fair. I, I don't, I don't right. have a big disagreement with that. But what Lion fan will say, and I, I think this is part of the deal, is that, well, look, you know, and, and Doug and I have a huge disconnect on this. You know, yes, Doug you is do. like, well, because I just, I don't subscribe to what he subscribes to. He goes, well, you know, you can't change expectations on a team. And I thoroughly disagree. I think that's nonsense. Look, yeah, I thought they were a 7-9 and nine team to start the year. Frankly, they probably are a 7-9 and nine team who got insanely lucky. More on that later. A little the fumbles right. at the end of games. The point silly is, stuff. when you were sitting at 9-4, and four, you were the number two seed in the NFC. You had a bye week and a home playoff game. You had three games to go. We knew the last three games were going to be challenging. We knew that they'd be difficult. I think we all knew in fairness they were never yes, going to go 3-0. Maybe but, we wouldn't even go 2-1. and one. But let me give credit to my people out there. Even at 9-4, and four, you, you saw the boogeyman coming. I didn't see the usual celebration. Hey, let's let's pop the champagne corks early. Let's put on our party hats. Let all the girls put on your hot pants and everything because we're going to the playoffs. You knew what could happen. That's why people just kind of held back and said, okay, let's let this play out because these are our Detroit Lions. All right, so with that in mind, it's simple. Is this season already labeled a success? And what is the intrinsic value in making the playoffs when you have no chance to win anything. Is this season a success? No. First of all, no. I'm even going to agree with you on that one. This is not a success. Nine and seven is like, it's an all right year. you one game above 500. whoop de doo And here's a fact. If, if you were nine and seven and you were at home 
and let's say you're going to play the Washington Redskins, right. I might be able to say, you know what, success. Because they have a you're chance. you're at home, you're playing some chumps, uh, we might see you in week two of the playoffs. But now this one where you're going to Seattle, by the way, on a very, very short week, because the NFL doesn't like you and they don't respect you, they just kind of throwing you in there Saturday night, giving you, was it like two days of rest or whatever it is, or four or five, whatever. That shows the NFL doesn't respect you. you what you are is you are the Washington Generals for the Seattle Seahawks. You're there because there has to be two teams doing the playoff game. So you're just going there, going to get your asses kicked. You come back to Detroit. So my question is, and, and it will continue to be, I need you to tell me what the value of it is. What is the value of making the playoffs when you have no chance? The value is for the rest of us that like NFL football. I want to watch a game Saturday night and it happens to be my hometown team in there. There is no value when you have no chance of advancing. Like I said, this, this is like making the Citrus Bowl. It's cute. It's nice. I think it's tough, too, because this is a year in the playoffs. We're like, great example, Oakland or Miami. Both teams losing their starting quarterbacks just weeks ago with a broken right. legs, blown out knee for Tannehill. Sure. You know, their, their season now is wrecked. They have no chance to do anything. Miami's going to go to Pittsburgh and get drilled. I mean, at least in those situations. Oakland can win a game. Mm, I got mm. Houston. Mm. All right, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll do that Friday. The point is, right. look, at least those teams have an out. They have an out that they lost their quarterback and they lost him two weeks ago. Yes. The Lions don't have an out. The Lions are just there. I mean, does anyone argue they're, they're not the worst team of the 12 to make it? And you go to Seattle. I just, I, I don't, I want to know if, if you are sitting out there in fan land and are happy and are satisfied and feel like, hey, I didn't expect anything. They're in the playoffs. That's good enough for me. Just because it's not for me doesn't mean that all of a sudden you're wrong. I'm, I'm giving you my perspective on it, why I wouldn't be happy with it. Yes, David. But you completely forgot. The Lions lost their quarterback, too. He has a finger injury. Hasn't been the same, right? That's the excuse oh, the Lions fans on, are going to have, right? And that's a weak one, too. It is a weak one, but Very they're going to have it. I guarantee you this week fans are going to call up and say, well, his finger, it changed the uh, the result of the end of the season, and that's why we lost the last three games. No, David, no, I, no, We can no, beat no. Seattle if wait, his finger was minute. healthy. I'm going to take you to one play in the Green Bay game to show you the difference between Matthew Stafford and most quarterbacks and Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, you know, he was all right the first three quarters, nothing great, but he knew it was crunch time. He turned into a different animal in the fourth quarter. He even – um got the Lions to have a 12 men on the field. When he hur hurried up the snap and everything, he's thinking the game. What the Lions do is they just play the game. Aaron Rodgers took it to a different level and said, come and match me. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't. So the, the whole finger thing, you guys can throw that out the window. All right. I don't want to hear it. I'll tell you what. I'll, well, you don't want to hear it. Let me provide some numbers that may suggest why you should listen. 